that this evening where parts of Accra, including the Temamoto Way, is heavily flooded, we understand, following torrential rains that hit the capital. Now, uh, vehicular movement on some stretch of uh, some roads across, the, especially the capital, have to be halted as flood waters gush out of drains, as you see right there, onto the roads. A number of vehicles also broke down, forcing their commuters to alight and wade through. Uh, the flood waters. The Ghana Police Service, in a post on its official Facebook page, has urged motorists to take extra precaution. What you see there is the uh, sayings on the motorway. This is the motorway, the, that part of the motorway uh, that's towards uh, a greater Accra, uh, parts of the um, Accra Mall area, we understand as well, that stretch of the motorway also blocked. This, you see right there, is part of uh, the estates adjoining the part of the motorway as well, and that's flooded. Now, the flood waters have carried that's little beans. Uh, some vehicles were also moved there. And we want to go back to the motorway just to give you an idea of what's happening there. This is the motorway, as you see right there. The roads have been covered. You cannot actually see the asphalt. And that's what's happening there right now. And the motorists, we understand, are being cautioned. You have some persons, uh, as we speak at the moment, the National Disaster Management Organization has also dispatched personnel there to help motorists be able to identify exactly where to drive. What you're seeing now is that part of the motorway heading towards Tema. So that's a dangerous situation as we're, we're confronted with right now. We understand that the flood water is actually uh, shielding now and uh, the motorists are able to find their way with the assistance of personnel from the Ghana Police Service and the National Disaster Management Organization. This situation we're also gathering has caused heavy uh, vehicular traffic there and also for those who are yet to move from the offices or currently in traffic in some other parts of the capital heading towards the motorway, you might want to take precaution and uh, make sure that you at least stay until the flood water subsides. Hello, Felicity. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes, please. Good. Now, you're live on TV, just so you know. First of all, I want to find out from you. It's, it's been raining for the past four hours. Now, did you give any weather warning prior to this? Let's, let, let me first of all find out that. Yes, please. We've issued a weather warning in the morning. I see. And, and these specific areas, uh, you noted, were actually going to experience rains? Yes, uh, the system was over the sea. Then uh, we anticipated it to move inland, so we informed the public. I see. And, and, and was, was it, and the, did the notice say that we're going to have these long hours of rain as we're experiencing now? Yes, please. Okay, so what are we to expect going forward? Because it's been four hours consistent. So what yeah, next? For this night, over the coastal belt, the rains will be on till tomorrow morning. But then some areas are likely to stop. They'll have the cloudy weather, then just some patchy showers here and there. Um, those of us over the western region, the western coast, they are, the system is still over, over them. And then those over the Ashanti region, the system is still over them. And then the system is exiting into the, the northern portions of the western region, into Côte d'Ivoire. I see. So with this rain that, that we just recorded, are you able to tell us how many millimeters of, of rain that we have experienced? Yeah. Um, over Accra Airport, they recorded us at 1,845 millimeters. Uh, Kumasi had uh, roughly 61 61? And then we have 61 millimeters over Kumasi. Accra Airport recorded 45. We have Akimoda reporting 38. I see. So 
So what that means is that what we're experiencing now, Kumasi actually experienced more rains within this same four hours gone by. Yes, so uh, we had a system that developed over the middle volta and then later moved over eastern into the Ashanti region. Now, okay, I... I... <laughs> I would want to thank you, but what you're saying is that in, in the next hours, we're going to experience more of such rains. So yes. any, any precaution, especially for motorists, for people who are watching us now? Yeah, to add up, uh, for the week, uh, this week, we'll still be expecting rain, especially over the coast and the middle sector, uh, up to Sunday. But then there will be break in it once in a while. Then uh, the sun will come in, the clouds will come, then the rain will come between the afternoon and then the evening hours. And uh, we are putting it between 1 p.m. and then 1800, that is uh, 6 p.m. Uh, for today, tomorrow, the same thing, but midweek, sat, uh, Wednesday, sat, uh, Thursday, to the early morning will be mist and foggy over the middle and the part of the coastal dust. Then later, we'll have the rainy clouds coming in. Some will be localized, some will be a system that will move from our usual east, that's over came running to Nigeria all the way to us. And then uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we are anticipating another scattered to widespread activities over the middle and the coastal, but, and then part of the transition. For the northern sector, they are exiting the rain, so we don't expect much, just a few places that will be experiencing mm. the rain. Felicity, thank you for, for this. We'll yeah, definitely okay. be coming to you uh, subsequently get some more updates and to give out to the public as well to be on the lookout for this. Felicity Ayano is a forecaster on duty at the Ghana Meteorological Agency this evening.